Kapon, pwede po siyang, since nandun ang puso niya sa arts, pwede po siyang maging uh, katulong ng mga mga magpagtatapos sa arts para at least yung industry natin, hindi na uubusan ng mga magsusuporta. Hindi po ba? Yan po. So, pwede siyang, kahit anong track pa po yan, ang mga bata, matatapos po sila na pwedeng pumasok sa middle skills development, pwede po silang umakyat sa college kung gusto nila, pwede po silang magtrabaho agad sa business kung papa, kung, kung uh, um, meron pong available sa kanilang lugar. At yung pang-apat po is kung gusto nila ng sariling business, pwede po. Lalo na po dito sa atin sa arts. Marami po sa mga estudyante natin, mag, basta po meron lang silang um, hint of entrepreneurship, which is makukuha natin sa leadership and management subject natin, mahihita nila yung, yung value na pagiging entrepreneur at saka paano nila ipopromote yung sarili nilang kakayanan at yung sarili nilang skills sa arts. Yan po. Sige, next question. May isa ng prize. Sige, next question. Besides the four tracks, yan po ba? Meron tayong apat na tracks sa 11 and 12. Okay. Ano pa po yung kailangan kunin ng mga bata besides the track subjects? Malitin ko po. Meron pong track subjects. Naka-designate po siyang academic, tech book, sports, arts. Kaakibat po ng mga track subjects na ito, ano pa po yung tawag dun sa subjects na kailangan pa nilang kunin? <laughs> Ma'am, di pwede ko rin ko writer ka, Ma'am eh. <laughs> Alam mo ito. Ano pa po? Kasi baka po nagkakaroon tayo ng misconception na pag pumasok yung bata sa track na to, yun lang yung kukunin niya. Hindi po. Merong subjects dito. May subjects. Nakasulat siya dito ba na? Sa text po. Text niya po sa akin. Wala pa rin eh. Okay. The first answer comes from zero na way. Zero nine one seven.
Hindi po ba ito ay pasok din po sa ibang medium nga lang siya ng pagbe-visual arts. Ina-apply lang po sa shirts. So there, they were asking us kung maaari pa siyang gawing partner business. Kung pwede rin po yun. Yung iba namang school, nag-ipag-partner sila sa animation. So meron silang, yung mga malalapit po na, na schools doon sa lo, mga lugar na merong um, computer graphics, computer games, and animation. Yun, yun po yung i-offer nila. Ano, track. Yung iba naman po malalapit sa theaters, yan, pwede po dyan yung mga arts, performance, ay, performing, performing arts na, na, na subjects natin. So, kailangan po talaga na makipagkilala na kayo sa mga taong ito sa inyong mga lugar. Simulan nyo na pong makipagkaibigan and make sure na itong friendship ninyo with your partner businesses ay eh, talaga naman po magiging a firm, kasi po sila po yung partner natin para magkaroon po ng chance yung mga bata na ma-expose dun sa pwede nilang pasuking trabaho later on. Yan po. So, may, meron pa po bang ibang katanungan? Si Ma'am, hindi ko pa nabibigay yung price niya. Bigyan ko po muna ng price niya, Ma'am. By the way, yung pinamimigay ko pong um, yun, yung gift ko na yan. It comes from Foguang Shen. It's a, it's a new school in Manila, near CCP. Um, they're offering theater and dance for high school graduates for free. For college po yun. Together with, uh, with education units uh, para po pag Kagano ito mga bata, pwede silang magturo agad. Hindi lang po mag-perform, kundi magturo na rin. Kasi meron na sila edo units. Um, right now, I think it's the start of their, they're currently getting applicants na gustong magpa-scholarship dun sa, sa school nila. But they have only limited slots kasi yung facility nila, they have, parang ganito rin po na meron silang dorm. So, pwede po yung mga tagaling po sa malalayo po din siya, libre po yung stay nila doon sa, sa school. Once they get into the school, everything, tuition fee, accommodations, is free. Right now, they're still working on the travel expenses, meaning from the province, kapunta doon sa school nila, hinahanapan pa nila ng funds for that. Pero right now, what is free is the school and the board and lodging. So, if you have students who would like to take up arts later on, pero wala silang, hinisirap silang makapasok sa malalaking schools because it's really expensive, pwede well, meron naman din pong ibang mga universities who are offering scholarships like this. Yan po. So, isa rin po yan sa magandang uh, maging siguro uh, partners natin para alam po ng ating mga estudyante na hindi lang po hanggang high school sila sa arts. Marami pa po na schools na nag-offer ng mga ganitong scholarships. Okay? So, meron pa po bang ibang tanong tungkol sa senior high school? Wala na po. Yes, sir. The mic is open. Also, the other experts. 
it's been currently um, under the process of merging with the old curriculum and it will be presented together with grade 9 and 10 by October. Okay? By October po. Right now, um, dapat po talaga meron po sa naiguro for next week. Pero, uh, next week or basta this month po, this May. But, uh, we, we, we moved it to October para po magkaroon po ng chance na ma-review yung, yung 7 and 8 curriculum at saka matapos na rin po yung 9 and 10. Kasi gusto po namin yung mga teachers natin na mag attend ng sanay guro, hindi lang po sa level 1 ng training, kundi magkakaroon po ng level 2, which is grades 9 and 10. Hindi po ba? Kasi syempre yung skills nyo po, alam na po na dapat mas mataas syempre dun sa mga tuturuan natin, hindi ba? So yun po yung aming work out with NCCA, we actually just had a talk uh, a few days ago with them na yun na po yung proposal na we move the Sanay Guro to October during December so that um, so that we still have enough time to revise and review what has to be reviewed. Pero po, yung curriculum na present, present po nila last year is the model that will be followed. Okay? Pwede naman po, kaya lang may mga pinabago po kami. So, kung gagamitin niyo po siya ngayon, ang makaka-benefit po ng, sus ng curriculum na ipipresent sa October ay yung susunod na batch na po. Okay? Sige po, meron pong next question si ma'am. Uh, sana din po, pag-usapan din yung grading system ng SPA. Pati yung mga requirements. Kasi, Nung nakaraan, meron kailangan 82% and then 85%. Uh, ano ba talaga ang kailangan para makapasok ng SPT? Opo. Bali, ano po, part po yan dun sa gagawing talks nga po. Kasi uh, gusto po talaga namin na magkaroon na ng manual for all special programs. Hindi lang po sa SPA, kundi pati sa ibang... Uh, like SPJ, SPS, sports po, sa journalism. Basta lahat po ng special programs, magkaroon po ng isang manual na pare-pareho po yung implementing guidelines na susundin. So yun po yung uh, pinaka-finalize pa po as of now. Yun nga lang po, mas pinibigyan ng priority as of this few months, yung 11 and 12. Kasi po, gusto na po talaga namin matapos ito para maibigay na po namin sa inyo lahat. Yun po. Yes, ma'am. May question po si ma'am. Uh, good morning po, ma'am. Ang question po po dun sa senior high school program, kasi po, yun sa amin naman po, sa high school namin, uh, sa division namin, third city, and I think sa region 3, may mga naka-assign na schools na mag-early implementation naman po ng Tech and to identify what tech book uh, course to offer depends on the available resources of the school. And prior to that, we had surveys and it, we determined yung sinasabi nga po, mga kanina, mapping, industry, uh, mapping naman yung nangyari sa TNT. So the question is, ma'am, halimbawa po sa isang high school na may population po ng 1,500 students or in a year level, 300 students. So iba-iba po ang interests niyan. Uh, and, ang kaya lang i-offer ng school turns out sa available resources and sa faculty ay itong particular na eh, uh, course na to. Like, let's say, food and beverage lang, ma'am. Paano naman po yung needs ng ibang students? This is, I'm talking about tech book and meron pang regular. And what if na-determine yung school namin, hindi kami pwedeng mag-offer ng STEM in the SHS. So, what will happen to the rest of the students in their grade 11 and grade 12. Are they stuck on that specific course or, or only? Or paano po ba yan? Thank you po. Okay. Right now po, since hindi naman po natin kaya pontohan na lahat-lahat ng school sabay-sabay na mag-offer ng lahat ng tracks, uh, what they are, uh, what what they have been um, proposing is to have uh, a track, certain school to offer one track na. Okay? Hindi po lahat ng track ay eh, pwede i-offer ng school ninyo. 
tama po si Ma'am, paano na yung nag-graduate kung hindi siya niya gusto or hindi niya gusto yung track na in-offer sa school niya? Dilipat po siya ng school. Ngayon, kung ba na po siya, uh, kung nilipat po siya ng school, yung school po na lilipatan niya ay kailangan po mag-provide ng dorm facilities. Isa po yun sa titignan bago po maaprobahan na, na senior high school yung school. Okay? Meron po tayong task force who have been going around the country to check certain schools if kaya ba nilang mag-offer ng senior high school. Sa ngayon po, meron pa lang 115 private schools na natignan. Yung public schools po, hindi pa po siya naaaprubahan which schools will be given the senior high school tracks. Kasi po, pinabalik po yung survey ni brother because of, I think there was some uh, misalignment with the data. So, yun po yung inaayos pa nila kung ilan ba talaga bata ang kukuha ng ganito at ganito ang track. Yun po. So, pero ngayon po, yun nga po ang isinainahan nila is ilipat po talaga yung bata sa next nearest school na meron ng track na yun na gusto niya. Kasi nga po, para makuha niya yung gusto niya talaga ng track. So, yung, 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 ito po, kung may, kung may bala po yung school ninyo na mag-offer ng senior high school of a certain track, kailangan po talaga meron sana kayong um, dorming facilities. Yun, for that. Yun po yung number one talaga titignan the facilities. Kasi, uh, tulad po na sabi ni Yusek ay sa video, hindi po, kunyari sa Maynila, hindi po naman tayo pwede magtayo ng agri-fisheries sa Maynila. Kasi wala naman po kami lupa masyado na sa Maynila. Lahat po puro buildings na. Hindi po ba? So, yung mga ganong aspeto po, tinitignan talaga. Halimbawa, gusto po ng school ninyo mag-offer ng arts and design track. Titignan po, kompleto ba? Kaya ba ng facilities ninyo? Meron bang available resource persons? Hindi na po, kahit hindi mo na teachers, available resource persons dun sa area ninyo para magturo ng mga subjects na ito. Yun po yung mga tinitignan. But besides that, tinitignan din po yung pababano po yung gagawin na um, yung scheduling po ng subjects, kung ilan po yung kakayanin ng senior high school classrooms at yung junior high school classrooms. Yun po yung tinitignan talaga. Any other questions po? Yes, ma'am. I have three. Yes. Pero yung unang muna, di ba yung ginawa natin last December is for the SPA. Ang tanong ko lang, kung yung mga uh, proposed namin doon, kasi di ba we have the groupings, masasama kaya yun doon sa gagawin, ano, pag-aayos ng implementing guidelines ng ating Yes. Opo. Sana naman at inaasahan namin yun. Yes. So, second, <laughs> second question. Kasi na-raise ko na ito kanina about dun sa accreditation of the trainings na ginagawa ng mga teachers. So, for the... Yun sa mga NC ito na sinasabi ko nga, yung question ko nga kanina, parang nabanggit ni Mang Dina, pero hindi ko masyadong ano. Uh, kung yung mga specialized trainings natin, eh, pwede ba i-convert para doon sa ano yung sa accreditation na yun. And my third question, sabi ng aking mga kasama, it's yung po bang naka, ang hindi naka ng uh, level 1 ng sanay guro, aten pa sila kagad ng level 2 or they have to undergo that level 1 muna? Thank you. Sige po. Sagotin ko po muna yung uh, second question kasi nasalot ko na po yung first. Okay. The second question, kung ma-accredit ba ito, yun po yung wina-workout namin ngayon with TESDA na mabigyan kayo ng chance to get the certification para po meron para po ma-accredit yung inyong workshops. Okay? Right now, inaayos po ng NCCA yung competencies needed na, na para po ma-meet ninyo yung certification level na iyon. Hindi pa nga lang po siya nag-finalize ng TESDA, but it is already ongoing. 
Okay, next po. Yung mga hindi po nakatend ng level 1 before, pero gusto mo matend po ng workshop this October, uh, based on what we had talked about the other day, meron po level 1, may level 2. You have to attend level 1 first. Kasi iba po ang skills development ng level 1 sa level 2. Mahihirapan po kayo mag-catch up or baka mahihirapan kayo mag-catch up sa level 2. Okay? So, dapat po talaga level 1 po na and then level 2. Dalawa po yung ipipigay ng NCCA na levels. Okay na po? Ano pa po? Last one. Apo. Ah, okay, yung memo po na hindi nakakarating. Honestly po, hindi lang po memo ang hindi nakakarating. Kundi pati learning materials ay hindi po nakakarating. Tama po? Yes! Okay. Alam po namin lahat yan. At alam na rin po ng ating mga boss sa taas. Ang hindi rin po namin maintindihan ay kung bakit po nangyayari yun. Um, for example, meron po mga ilang cases na meron write shops or workshop na ngayon na po yung araw ng workshop, ngayon pa lang po darating yung memo o bukas pa po darating yung memo. Ang dahilan po ay sirap daw yung fax machine. Okay? So, um, tinatry na lang po namin na i-update. So far, yung iba po kasi may iba po tayo, I understand may iba po tayo mga boss na ayaw po na through text message or through email. But then, uh, ang ginagawa po talaga namin when we send out the memo ay uh, mga tatlo or apat po na paraan. Yung isa po, pag talagang deaf and advisory siya, nasa website, nasa email, nasa fax, nasa, nasa telepono pa. Okay? Lagi pong ganun. Pero, pero pag normal na letter or memo po, muli na po namin i-upload sa website. For definitely, meron po sa email, sa fax, at saka sa cellphone na inyong director. Ngayon po, ang problema na lang is somewhere between the recipients in your regional offices. Okay? Hindi lang po sa memo yan, pati po sa learning materials. For example, may isa po region, pinadala na po namin ang grade 9 materials para sa mass training. But then, ang sabi nila, wala pa po sa division namin. When, but then we said, how come wala pa po sa inyo yung katabing division ninyo na sa inyo po nang galing yung deliver na materials, eh meron na. It turns out, kasi daw po wala, wag naka-only po yung mag accept No materials. Minsan po may mga ganyan. What I would suggest is for you to always check the website for advisories. Okay? Especially for SPA, kung may mga advisory po tayo ng workshops, meron po yan sa website. Alam nyo naman po yung website natin, refed.gov.ph. Kung kailangan nyo po ng kopya ng curriculum guides for grade 7 to 10 at 11 and 12, meron na din po doon. Nasa resources tab po siya. Uh, under resources tab, you just click curriculum guides, Nandun po lahat downloadable. Everything already is downloadable. Ngayon naman po, as for the email po, I understand you have a registration here? Yes, okay. Now, since it was already with CCP, and we we have a, CCP is helping us create a directory for all of you. Hopefully, hindi lang po sa SPA, but also with other music and arts teachers in the regular schools. If we, if we can make a whole community out of it po. Yun po yung next plan namin. Para at least isang bagsakan lang po ng information. Alam nyo na po lahat. Yun nga lang po, medyo uh, magsisigab lang po tayo, magsisigab lang po tayo na mag-access talaga ng internet regularly. Kahit once a week po. I-check po natin yung mga natin, if we, or kaya po uh, once magawa na po yung yung um, groups na yun hopefully in, maybe in Yahoo groups or in, in FB um, I hope this can be a source of um, putting together materials na pwede natin i-share sa isa't isa, regardless kung saan region tayo galing. Yan po. Ah yes.
Okay, last na po. Pag may iba po questions, alam nyo na po yung cellphone number ko, ha? Pag pakilala lang po kayo bago mag-text. Good morning po, ma'am. I am Mrs. Aison. I'm uh, one of the uh, principal po ng one of the newly open space for the division of Pohon. Concern po lang po kasi kami po yung mga principal, kami po yung lagi nasa frontliner with regards to the budget and the funding, how we could properly implement the program. Uh, tinatanong po lang po kung paano magkuha yung sinasabi nila that there is a budget of 500,000 when you open an SBA. Paano po and then ano po ang dapat namin i-prepare basis kung paano namin makukuha yung funding kasi hindi po talaga joke ang paghahanap ng funding, paghahanap ng pera para may quality po na implementation of the program. So wala pa po kaming idea kung paano po makukuha yun. Oh, thank you po. Yung pag, ano po, yung pagbigay po ng subsidy, ito po ay revolving. Hindi po lahat ng schools automatic binibigyan po ng subsidy. Okay? Ngayon, um, yung, mga binib yung mga schools po na binibigyan ng subsidy, kunyari, this for two years, meron po sila ng subsidy na yun. And the next two years, wala na po. Uh, it is because we want all the schools na naka-experience yung subsidy na yun. So, ano po yung requirements? One okay. of the requirements para yung school, isa sa mga kibali yung school namin, matransfer yung fund. Isinasabit po lahat ng accounting documents kung magkano po yung nagagastos ng school ninyo doon sa, sa program po. Yes. And then, ano po yung mga current uh, current arts na ino-offer ninyo? Yun, tapos ano po yung accomplishments na nagagawa na po ng school ninyo? Yun po yung mga basic requirements po. Yung iba pa pong mga legal documents, sa regional office po yun sinasabit. Sila po uh, sa regional office ang okay. nagsasabit sa amin sa central office. So yung master plan and the paper po, yung paper na uh, actually na-implement na po yung program, is that one of the requirements also? Yeah. Yung ano po? Yung papel po, yung the master plan, yes. the curriculum. Opo. Uh, organization will implement the program? Yes. Kasama po yun? Yes po. Lahat po yun. Sa regional office, as a division office na po ibibigay, division office will turn it over to the channel. channel. So, ibig pong sabihin, pag wala pong ganyan yung master plan na ganun, it is impossible na yung, yung fund will be transferred to the particulars kung na wala talaga papers. Yes po. Thank you lang. Yun po. Lagi naman po tayo kasi mga black and white po, di ba? Kung ano po yung makikita natin proof na meron po kayo nito, and then yun po yung mabibigyan talaga ng subsidy. What happens most of the time is, minsan may region na hindi po nagpapadala. Yes. Opo, meron po talaga na hindi nakapagpadala. So, ang nangyayari po ngayon, meron isang region na doble. Na binibigay po na lang sa kanila. Kasi sila po, sila po yung next rank dun sa ano po, assessment. Na-raise ko po ito, concern ay kumang. Kasi sa amin, sa region 7, ah, uh, Ako po yung unang nakasubmit ng papers for the program. And then it's sad to know na iba yung binigyan ng ano, okay. budget. So, um, I just want clarification. If I should also uh, uh, ask, okay, um, yung, kasi po, yung nga, pag-iitignan po rin kasi accomplishments po, no? School. So, kung ano po, kahit po na nauna kayo mag-submit, no? Um, maari po na yung school po na binigyan ng grant of the subsidy has been, uh, has have ever, maybe we have more accomplishments than Then who will monitor and validate that now? Ano po yun? Pinapadagdag, umiikot po dapat ang regional office. Kasi sa amin po, wala po nagkaroon ng monitoring and validation para maging basis of the... If I would suggest po, maybe you can ask your senior division office to, uh, to follow it up with your regional office. Opo. Kasi para po matulungan nila kayo, dapat po talaga i-partner kayo mo ng division office to make sure na nabibigyan po ng pansin yung inyong concern by the regional office as well. Opo. Thank you. Po. Thank you po. Yes, sir. Ay, sabi ko last question na yun. Yes. Uh, I am Mr. Garbo of Bandawi City Division. Yes, sir. The principal for of Bandawi City School for the Arts. Our school is one of the recipients of 
the 500,000 supposed to be three years. But it's what happened. I was assigned in our school in November 11, 2011. So the funding for 2011 was spent for us in the year 2012. So natapos ko yung 500,000 expenses beginning of 2013 because it's really impractical to spend it right away because the 500,000 the 40% of it goes to costume and instructional materials. The other 20% will go to the training of teachers, another 20% for the students, and the other 20% will go to the postgraduate of the teachers in relation to arts. Now, our problem there is the postgraduate for the teachers because in Cebu, there is no school offering uh, a postgraduate in relation to arts. So what happened? The other budget goes to instructional materials and the other training so that we could spend the 500000 Here comes another year for 2013. I was informed by our accountant last December. And then she said, if that money will be downloaded to me, would it be possible for me to liquidate before December 30? And then I refused because it's I could not do much in less than a month to spend the 500,000. So this time, our coming here was taken from our SPE fund. We spent Almost 93,000, we have seven. We are seven. And we spent more than 13,000 from Cebu in going here. Now the question is, with Ms. Ison's concern, we belong to the same region. When the memo was issued, I was surprised that supposed to be in 2014 is our third year for the 500,000. And, sad to note, it was given to another division. So, wala po po kami three years. It's only two years. And of what I know, that funding is good for three years. I think so. And then, excuse me ma'am, one of the basis is that the school had already won the different competitions in the national, uh, the region, as we well ask the visuals as basis for the regional office for the recommendation that that budget will be given to that division. So, your accomplishments is one of the basis that the funding will be given to your school. And last April, our school won the second place in the OPM songwriting composition. In the previous year in Tacloban, we also won the third place in the contemporary street dancing. So in the national and regional level, we used to uh, uh, palagi, palagi po kami uh, uh, regional winner, the regional representative during the uh, national competition. So for the other schools, that is one of the basis, the accomplishments of the SP school implementation. Tulad po ng sabi ko kanina, sir, kailangan po kompleto yung requirements. So kung sabi nyo nga po, um, it was given to you November and you had to liquidate it at the end of December, kailangan po talaga pag-aasos. Yun po oh, talaga. Let's say for example, ma'am, yung nangyari ngayon, yung, yung training ngayon pa lang, so, paano naman namin yung gagastusin yung pera na wala pa training? Um, yung pera po na yun, sir, um, should have been uh, the payment for what has occurred in that, uh, in that year, before, 20, before the end of 2013. Para po magbigyan kayo ng panibagong budget ng 2014, dapat po na ubus na hat ng pera ng 2013. Parang bayan utang po yun 
doon sa nagastos nyo ng 2030, hindi po siya dapat sana doon sa susunod na taon. Kayo na, the, the accountant informed me last December sa paano ko naman ma-liquidate before the end uh, before the end of December. I think it's a matter of miscommunication between your accounting na lang po talaga. Kasi po meron po nilabas na na memo tungkol na po doon na all, um, all money that was given to all institutions regardless po kahit po sa amin, ganun din sa central office, lahat po ng pera binigay sa amin ay kailangan maubos at the end of the year. Hindi po siya pwedeng carry over to the next year. So, dapat sana ma at the beginning of the year, pag January, nandiyan na. Pag January, eh, pwede naman eh. At gusto, gusto naman po din talaga natin, sana, yun nga lang po, syempre dadaan pa po siya dun sa proseso ng pag-screen kung kanino po gusto ibigay yung subsidy. So, yun po, medyo nagtatagal bago pa po sa atin maipadala dun sa pinakataas na level para kumapirmahan yung mga papers to say na i-transfer nyo na yung pera. Now, mama, another point of clarification. Is the purchase of keyboard, pandoria, gitara, pwede na rin uh, makakuha po kami ng budget kasi yung 40% costume at saka instructional materials. Pag walang keyboard, paano naman? And then another thing is, with regards to instructional materials, is the purchase of piano book will be also covered as the instructional materials? Unang-una po, uh, para po ma-approve kayo as SPA school, ano na po ba yung facilities na meron kayo? Kasi, Kasi yung... po sir sa facilities ang instruments. Facilities and equipment po yun. So, they covered yung piano box sa uh, instructional materials. Books are instructional materials. So, covered po. But, but yeah. the instrument is part of equipment. Hindi mo ba, yun nga po, bago po tayo magsabi SPA school, dapat po, meron na po tayo facilities. Kasi po ma'am, nasira yung isang keyboard namin. So, sir, dapat po ipagawa po natin yun. Hindi po yun under the subsidy. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, may very last concern na lang po ba? Is it the same, no? Different, different po. Sige, last na po. Kasi I know everybody is hungry already for lunch. Sige po. Good morning, Mom. Okay. I am from Tagbalangan, Salmar. Yes, I'm Mrs. Rebecca Gabo. Hello, po. Our school, in Summer National School, we have been implementing this program. This is my curriculum for about um, almost 10 years. So, when Sir Ronnie arrived in our school, we were so surprised when he told us that we were not, what's this? We were not registered. And we have been conducting recitals mid-year and year-end recital. And we have been submitting reports and documentations about our recitals. And, and yet, we... Siya po may kasalang na joke. Sir, naklarify niya po. Ang mukhang kailangan ko i-clarify yung word na hindi registered, no? Okay. Nung pumunta po ako doon, kasi hinahanap talaga namin kung saan yung original, ano to? Uh, SPA uh, pilot school na to. Alam po namin ang Region 7 ay Tacloban, tama po? So, so that means Region, region 8 yun. Okay. So, matagal po namin kasi na uh, hinahanap sa listahan ang um, kung anong meron SPA sa sa summer. Wala po kami nakita sa listahan. So, yun po yung pinanggagalingan ng hindi uh, hindi naka-release po. So Pero what? kung ang inyo pong regional supervisor, I'm sorry, yung mismong SPA supervisor po ninyo ay aware na may nag-i-exist ang program ninyo 
alam ko po na siya ay may coordination din sa regional uh, sa central office na merong naging assist na SPA. So, tatanoy po natin si Ma'am Christine kasi sila rin po ay hinahanap din nila yung mga ilang SPA kasi marami din pong hindi nakalista sa inyo. Ma'am, tama po? Ayun. Kasi we were wondering, what is, what, uh, what is this subsidy? Uh, hindi pa. Ma'am, clarify ko lang po. Ibig po sabihin hindi nakaregister, it means na hindi lang po nakalista. Okay? Pero po, ganito kasi yung nangyari. When we had the first batch of SPA schools na binigyan ng subsidy, okay, there were only 17. Okay? Binigay po yung power, binaba po namin yung power sa regional offices to approve kung pwedeng maging SPA schools ang mga school na gusto pang mag-apply. So, maaari pong nakaregister kayo sa inyong region, pero po, hindi pa po nila ipinu-forward sa central office yung listahan ninyo. Okay? Mama, nalang lang, okay. pwede pong pakiulit yung requirements para doon sa South City? Alin po? Yung... Ang the best po na makausap niyo tungkol doon sa subsidy division offices niyo na po. Kasi sila po ang unang-unang titingin ng inyong facilities. Okay. Okay? Apo, apo. Waiting ka ba? Hindi po ibig sabihin na hindi kayo registered pag wala kayo sa listahan. Maaari lang po na inyong regional office ay hindi pa i-forward sa amin yung pangalan ng school ninyo. Kasi when I went to the Bureau, we found out po that there were, for example, lang po, no, out of the 34 schools na nakalista sa amin, may 100 plus SPA schools na po around. And we do not even know where these schools are. Yan po ang katotohanan. Okay? So right now, what we are doing, I am currently working with CCP, sila Ma'am Eva, sila po ang kumikot ngayon sa iba-ibang regions to gather the names of these schools and to check ano ba talaga, ito talaga yung SPA. Yun po, sila po, tinutulungan po nila ako na makompleto yung directory po natin ng mga SPA schools para sa susunod po, lalo na po pag magkaroon tayo ng skilling pagbansa, hindi lang po to the region yung info. Maaari nyo rin po malaman kung ano pang iba-ibang mga event na meron. Kasi hindi lang naman po yung mga sining pagbansa ang meron. Meron pa po minsan mga um, uh, sing and joy, yung choir event po. Meron po ganyan. Meron din po uh, master classes for woodwinds, for orchestra instruments. Libre po yung mga yan. Kaya lang po hindi po nakakarating yung information sa inyo. Kasi nga po, minsan hindi nga po nakalista dun sa aming listahan. Okay? So, yun po. Hindi po ibig sabihin na hindi kayo register. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess that will be all. Po. Thank you very much. And I hope that you will be tayo sa mga partners. Thank you po. Anakpakan po ulit natin si Bagu.